Okay, hey y'all. So, don't mind my hair, y'all. I've been damn near playing outside, having a great time, sunbathing. Today is the full moon of Sagittarius, and I feel like a lot of things just came full circle for me today. And I feel so much better. I do. Because now I don't feel crazy. Now I don't feel like, you know, because I just realized it all came from one source. All the energy was, it was like that energy was in people, you know? And now that I found the source of the matter, it's just like, if I release the source, if I, if I kill the supply, you know? It's giving me like, it's giving me on some mafia shit, you know what I'm saying? You kill the source, you know? You kill the whole operation. I felt like I just killed the source, so now the whole operation is done. On both ends, you know? I feel so much better. I feel so free. It's like I killed the source. Every single time, every single time. And I think that in itself, and you know what was so crazy? Yesterday, y'all, yesterday, right? I was outside, y'all. I am so hot. It is hot as fucking in Atlanta. But anyway, it's 133 as I looked up. So yesterday, I was outside. And remember how I was telling y'all that I saw a hummingbird? So I saw a hummingbird again. And this hummingbird, it, it was funny because once again, the hummingbird always comes when I'm in distress. Or when I'm about to be in distress. And I remember the last time the hummingbird came, I was in a very distressed place, like very distressed. And a lot of shit had, a lot of shit had been revealed to me that day that I, that like around me, like I was going through a lot of dark shit that day. And it's funny that the hummingbird visited me yesterday and today I'm going through a lot of dark shit. You know, my mom and my dad, they were the source. That in itself to me was just crazy. And I think with the with Chiron and Aries and it's being like a lot of kid energy and becoming a child of God, really, I feel like it's just that that was strong of realizing that it was the parents. I killed the source or not the, the energy because cause the devil will use the people that's close to you. So why would the devil not use your parents? It's how you're raised. Or why everything everything that you do is, is stemmed off how you were raised. And your true authentic self is what you learn on the way to the path. So I've never really gotten to be free with myself and be open with myself until I started really realizing, well, what made me not be so open about this in the first place? Why did I stop doing that in the first place, you know? And that in itself to me just goes to show, I'm not fucking crazy. Ace of Cups, 313 as I looked up. Why wasn't I loving myself fully? Why wasn't I fully embracing myself? And I always feel like you get the hardest lesson last every single time. I felt like last year it was accountability and it showed in friends. And this year it's big on family. And family is crazy how they act. They demons just be so, they demons can't help themselves, child. They demons can't help themselves. They demons can't help themselves. They demons can't help themselves. And it's crazy that you just never expect it to be them. Oh, Blue Jay. Thank you, God. Glory to God. You just never expect it to be them. And I just felt like, I know you guys have probably been having a lot of mental battle. And I feel like you're having mental battle because of the information. It's, 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 it's like you're trying to learn how to process it. And I'm honestly, I'm saying the truth hurts. So you're just going to have to process it the best way you can. Journal, cry. And, you know, that's why I've been telling y'all, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. See? This is the cup. The cup is the cup is the love from the universe. We got that first one was the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is all the love for yourself. Okay? So the God is giving you this cup of love right now. And this cup of love comes with a lot of truth. Thank you for confirmation. Thank you for confirmation. This cup comes with a lot of truth. You got a strength. It kills your ego. It breaks the death of the ego because when you get this information, it's not for you to go to the person or it's not for nothing. It's for you to now maintain boundaries. 
It's for you not to articulate yourself and tell people, I don't want to talk to you right now. I don't want to do this with you right now. You have to have strength to control your ego because hurt people hurt people. If I release this, there's no need for me to act out of ego with them. Hold boundaries. And that's why I told y'all, it's going to cause a lot of tower moments that you're holding boundaries with people. You know what I'm saying? Things are going to get serious. I don't care. That's why I told y'all, I don't care. I stand on my word. I stand on my word. Yeah, king of swords. I stand on my word. I don't want to deal with you. I don't. Now, one thing I don't have a problem with, I don't have a problem with confrontation. I don't have a problem with confrontation. That, that confrontation does not bother me. And I don't want to talk to you. You were the source. Now I just had to kill the source off. Yep. Hello. Hello. It's funny that we talking about ego because that's the masculine energy. That's the masculine energy. The fact that we talking about ego, that is a masculine energy right there. That's, that's where the collective just took a turn. Because when people are doing spiteful things, it's because their feminine energy is already insecure. It doesn't love itself. So that's why that masculine energy acts out of hatred and physical abuse and mental abuse. The mouth, the throat is a, the throat is a masculine energy. How people talk is how they feel about themselves. That's why people project onto you. They don't love you. That's why I said I don't mind confrontation. That's why I said with the, with the knight of swords and the two of swords in reverse, this is what I really feel like. This is what I honestly and truly feel like. The blindfold has now been taken off so you know who the source is, so you know what to kill now. You know what to say. You know. You know, you know, you know. With the King of Cups here, it's now you now you're in now now you know your emotions. You're you're emotionally intelligent. You know what I hear? Wisdom. You now can use it as wisdom. Your masculine energy is healed. See? Seven seven of cups in reverse, fell on the cup illusions mentally you know what i've been telling my home girl lately mentally i've been going through stuff like i've been really mentally like really like having to release a lot of mental energy and i realized that when i started moving some stuff it started moving the energy so when i started moving the energy it started getting my mind turning and when i started to get like real mentally like irritated like something's not right something's not right something eating me up is eating me up it's because i'm not acknowledging something that's why i've been telling y'all get in the sun things gonna be revealed to you it started to be revealed to me in waves, in waves. I told you it was, was going to be a wave of not a logic. See, I just got shade. It's going to be a wave of, of knowledge. The sun going to go away for a second. The clouds going to come. You're going to see the fog, and then boom, the sun going to come back out. That's what has been coming in waves, just like how the sun hides the clouds in waves. 7.55 as I looked up. I know that's right, Spirit. Spirit said, and yep, and yep. You get to that Aquarius, that logic, healing. It brings so much healing. I feel so free. Because now I know the truth. That's all. <laughs> now I know Now I know the truth. It got the wheel turning. Now I know the truth. So we cool now. Now, now we good. I, I done claimed the power. I'm on my throne. I don't, I don't want to fuck with you. you. You looked in my face and you did that. It's cool. It, it's no love lost. I, I, I really appreciate you. But I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone because you, you, you're a part of the problem. I got to get on my chair. I got to go. I claim my own justice. I claim my own independence. Yeah, I got to go. Yeah, the hierophant. And I, I realized that a lot of y'all are finding things out about your family. And it hurts. It hurts. And you might have a little bit of confusion about how you should deal with it. Or, you know, don't hold bad energy. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold no grudge. Don't hurt. Don't hold no animosity. But hold the boundaries. You don't have to talk to them. I, I told God, please don't make me talk to them. God said, and you don't have to. Because they know what they've done. And they still look in your face and they still do this act like it's normal. It's not normal. It's not normal. 9-11 as I looked up. It's not normal. So you don't have to talk to them. Yeah. If it's not in balance, it's not normal. You don't have to deal with that. You don't have to deal with that. You don't have to deal with that. If it, if it, it nine of cups in reverse. Here we go. If, if it's this, this, you don't have to deal with it. It's not in alignment with you. It's not in alignment with you. If it's considered in your wish fulfillment, then you can do it. This is Sagittarius energy. Does it make sense? You know what I just heard? Does it make sense? Regardless of how they crossed you, if that was somebody else, would you allow that around you? If, if it was the other way around, would you be would would they be okay with how they how you did them like that? No. Exactly. Exactly. Queen of Cups. We got counterparts already. Seven of Swords. Two. Of, uh, here we go. 
I'm telling y'all, things the, the source of things are being revealed from people. The source of it, the source, the source, the source. It's no more secret of what it is. I told y'all the truth was going to be revealed of why people act the way they do. Queen of Swords, hello, told y'all, hello, no, nothing more to balance. To co the communities and union. It's going to be a lot of soul families about to get linked up. A lot of soul families about to get linked up. Surrendering, releasing, being honest with yourself. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Are y'all being honest with yourself? This moon is about to clear up a lot of energy. It's a lot of sacral healing. And it's clearing it up. Because you need to now be in the flow of love. Flow of life. And not be in survival mode. Not be panic mode. You need to be embracing yourself. Your true authentic self. Because that, that is what's going to create you success. That's what's going to create you success. You need, to, you need to allow things to be free around you. Look at the bigger picture behind it. Start being more connected. Start being more open. Start being more grounded. Go outside. It's normal. It's hot outside, but go outside. Go outside. Anything else, Spirit? Ace of Wands. Here we go. It's a perspective. It's a new perspective. It's a new beginning. It's a new change. The sun... The page of swords and the king of see and it comes out again. And y'all remember I had that reading the other day and I was like, it's done. I was like, it's done. Everything's done. Cause this we don't have time for this. Nobody has time to be unhappy. It's fucking crazy to be unhappy. It's preposterous. You shouldn't be unhappy. Now you can ground yourself. Now you can now you can be open with yourself. I'm done. I'm done. That's what I'm talking about, spirit. What about this Virgo energy I've been telling y'all about? The main the main energy we've been in is Mercury energy, Mars energy, Jupiter energy, and Saturn energy. Chiron already been doing something. The expansion. That's why I said this is all. The, the Jupiter is waiting to say, hey, so can we do this? Can we do this? Are we down to do this yet? We down to do this? Ju that's what Jupiter's waiting on. Jupiter's asking them. That's why I've been telling y'all, clear it out. Heal the stuff you need to heal. Because I'm telling you, Jupiter's like, can we do this? Like, wh what we doing? The emperor on the bottom of the deck still. Oh, yes, that Aries energy is heavy, baby. Are y'all ready to do this? Please let the deceit go. Eight of Wands, let it go. If, it does, if, it's not, if it's not reciprocal, you know what? God is really saying, you can close it out now. God is really telling y'all, put, put your sword down. Cut anything out that don't align with you because he's saying this is it. Today, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, they got they got a mouth on them. Say what you need to say. They'll play. Y'all hear them birds? Say what y'all need to say. Sagittarius say what they need to say. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Sagittarius don't give a fuck. They see deception, they call it out. And Gemini's the sun. Hello. And, and Gemini's, Gemini's as well. They're the, the Mercury. They talk communication tell people let things transform ask your ancestors ask god this i'm telling y'all these eight of swords is your mind i realize that if you cut the source it breaks the dam it breaks it three of swords in reverse you healing this stuff and getting out to the source is is going to help your stability and it comes out again it's going to keep coming out because it's causing tower moments Oh, it's causing tower moments, tower moments, tower moments. Because as you call your power back, you now put that ownership on that person that you got. That whoever the source is, you now put the put the power back on them. You now put the what you call it back on them. You now do that. Now you give them ownership and responsibility of the tide that they put on you. I told y'all it was a lot of seven deadly sins. Envy, gluttony, all that. Your parents, your mother being, your dad being, them being narcissistic energies. It's all been coming up. All that combative and argumentative, all that energy is coming up and you have to release it. I had a lot of anger to release and I couldn't find, figure out the source of the energy. I couldn't figure out the source of the energy and now I figured it out. I started using my emotions and starting to put things together. I started being in that water energy that I was telling you about, that Pisces energy. I, I feel that Pisces energy, that Neptune, the subconscious mind, adding shit up because something's not adding up here. Something's not adding up here. 
I'm telling it's crazy because it kind of go hand in hand. It go hand in hand. You give God, you give God these burdens. You give God these problems. You tell God the truth of what's really going on. It go hand in hand. Thank you for confirmation. It go hand in hand. All right, y'all. I got to get out the sun because, baby, I'm hot, okay? And I know my skin pretty brown, but, baby, it's hot in Atlanta. I love you guys so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye.